Good morning everybody. Brand new day, brand new vlog. So today, I'm spending the day, or we all are spending the day with Nu. Yeah, hi, Nu. Hi, Nu. Yeah, Nu. So we're going to be cooking and learning more about Khmer food today. Yes. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> You're not allowed, sorry. Here's your helmet. Okay. Is this a yes. yes. Your English is very good. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Yeah! Sorry, I'm gonna turn it. Ah, uh, not yet. When he's ready, when everything's ready, we will send, maybe take about two days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you can. Okay. Yeah, okay. Alright. Which, uh, which market are we going to? We're going to Satrao. Satrao, okay. Yeah. So, Nambai. Yeah. Is it Nambai? Nyambai. Nyambai. Yeah, Nyambai. Nyambai means uh, let's eat yeah, or let's eat. go to eat Nyamba is like uh, yeah like eat oh. uh, in a very polite way right so yeah. say for example you are cooking dinner for the family yeah. and when, uh, when you are ready the food is ready on the table yeah. you say Nambai yeah Nyambai. Nyambai. ah okay okay one of the resort that I work for the owner from London right no wonder your English Sounds a bit British. 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 Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. That I think Jess might let tell you that I want to cook one of this dish. Which one? The beef soup. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm not eat that soup for 27 years. Right. What's the soup called? The soup's called Snow Chiru Saiko. Snow. Yeah. Snow Tu Chiru. 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 Yeah. Chiru Saiko. Saiko is the beef. Snow Tu Chiru Tu. So you're looking for lean beef? Yeah. I don't really know how to call in English much about the beef, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So that I looks like a uh, flank. Say, in English you can't Yeah, sausage, yeah, yeah. I, I eat before in uh, Vietnam. Maybe we can try some of this. I don't know, up to you. I, yeah, I but it'll be good to try. Oh yeah, we're gonna try this sausage. Chicken blood. Yeah. Huh? Chicken blood. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, oh, okay. Is this like a cucumber? Yes, there's a cucumber. Alright. Oh, What's that, huh? Is that turmeric? Turmeric. Yeah, the turmeric and lemongrass. Oh, okay, okay. And coffee lime. So this is the Cambodian spice. Oh, krum. Yeah, krum. Krum. Ah. See, I've been doing my research. Krum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the uh, Cambodian or Khmer uh, rump. In uh, Singapore, they call it rampa. Right. Yeah. That is what? Bamboo. That's a bamboo shoot. Bamboo shoot, okay. Yeah. So you... Do you ever have stir fry, stir fry pumpkin with brown pork before? No. I that's a that's a nice looking pumpkin. Yeah, I have this one or that one. But that one the pumpkin will be a little bit sweet when you do stir fry. Let's go with the pumpkin. Okay, yeah. Because it's beautiful looking. Oh. Yeah. So there is some chili, lemongrass. Yeah. Because one of the Thai dishes involved with those right. lemongrass. And sawtooth coriander, yeah. spring onion. 
Oh, a lot of lemongrass, huh? Yeah. It stung you, it's really painful. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they have this monsoon capsicum on that. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, really yeah. really painful. Yeah. They have one season, like once a year. Only one a year. It's no smell, but it tastes like a milk. Oh, really? Quite, yeah. Like, this oh. is how it looks like. Oh, inside. right, right. It's almost like a passion fruit, huh? Yeah, but it's tasty. It oh, really right, is right. quite milky, sweet. It's really nice. <laughs> In every house, we have this. Right, okay, okay. If we are Cambodian, we cannot stay without this. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is three different, different brahok. There's some, uh, some different kind of fish. No bone, no bone, no bone. I right. Think. So this is the smallest fish, but it's more expensive than these guys. Oh, right, banana right. Banana paper, it's tasty. Oh, banana paper? Yeah. Do you want to try some? How, how, do, you, how do you eat it? Yeah, there's banana. Oh, roll, this? Yeah, after oh. they grill them, they roll them. They're still hot, oh, you right. can eat them. It's no sugar, nothing. It's just natural sweet. Oh, wow, you can okay. try. You can just have a bite. Oh. Damn, man. Mm. Quite healthy. Well, I never had this before. Yeah. And yeah. it's not easy to, 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 to do that. Yeah. You have to be careful. You have to make it slide. You slide it by hand. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Banana paper. Yeah, never banana had paper. this before. After you buy some chicken and vegetable, you can buy some gold ring, right? If, if I make money, <laughs> I will. The light is pretty intense here in Siem Reap. There's this one photographer, Alex Webb. He had a book which he actually gave me when I met him years ago in Singapore. The book was called The Suffering of Light. So I brought my film camera here to take some exposures. So I'll set it on shutter speed 1000, the max f11 and just set it to infinity so you don't need to focus. And let's take a shot of the river, Siam Rip River. Alright, one shot, wine again. So just now earlier, the lady surprisingly said konnichiwa to me now that's going back konnichiwa is going back many years ago <laughs> of course the first wave of asian tourists that traveled were the konnichiwas the japanese then it was followed by the anya seos pre-pandemic it was all the nihaos but i don't see no chinese inside <laughs> spicy beef very spicy <laughs> Smell good. I put three chili. Yeah. Oh, you like chili? Singapore like chili. Okay, so I mentioned Prahok in the morning at the market. So she's actually made some here, prepared some here. Yeah. So what exactly is inside? Huh? Galangal. Yeah. A clove of garlic. Okay. Uh, lemongrass. Yeah. And then some chili. Right. And I use a little bit of um, sugar in. All right. And lime. Right. So is this uh I can just eat a bit? Yeah, like yeah. It? Try, but it might be still a little bit. So that you can try a bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Cambodian cheese, they say, <laughs> prahok, which is fermented fish paste, right? Basically, yeah. yeah. Still salty. Mm. And Very I had nice. this. I had this. This is my favorite um, vegetable that I took from my house. Oh, okay. This is bitter, bitter god. Yeah, yeah, bitter god. Yeah. Really nice. Wow, wow, wow. Baby it bitter really god. Really good with that. Oh, just like that. Yeah. Did you want? Did you want to have some? I cut them. Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, oh wow. These are just young bitter gods or yeah, young bitter gods. Yeah. It's a young one. Take the seeds out, yeah. yeah. Um, it's tasty. 
I, I don't know. Some people they don't like. No, no, I like I like bitter gum. I, I love it so yeah. much. Yeah. All right. So it's like it. a spoon, huh? Yeah. It's a bitter god, bitter god spoon. <laughs> so basically, you buy the fish paste itself on the market, and then yeah. you mix with yeah, uh, I, you add uh, herbs and. Yeah garlic or whatever you want yeah, to add yeah right right okay so i put a piece of a coffee lime cumin, right right because i like a lot of herbs so right. i like to add them on yeah so. but so the actual form itself is not so wet right you yeah. you kind of made it wet with the lime juice lemon juice yeah you this is um it's good like this because you want to eat it raw so it's good not too wet right 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 yeah. okay try yay cheers <laughs> cheers Hmm. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, it is, does look a bit like moldy cheese, huh? Yeah. I mean, I think most Asian will know this smell. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Fish or prawn or something else, yes, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah, they yeah. can tell the smell. Like they have to have this in, right, the, right, in the house, right. yeah, in the yeah. kitchen. Yeah. Because this you go anywhere as you Cambodian you miss this so much yeah 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 you yeah only this is, you miss is it expensive um i bought six almost six dollars per kilo six dollars per kilo okay yeah there's a milky fruit that we saw at the market earlier yeah. right yeah so when you eat you can just hold this and bite them they have some harder seed inside so you don't eat that seed right you throw it out so apparently it tastes like uh, milk and it's smooth. Okay, let's let the Nepali and Singaporean try the milky fruit. H have you ha ever had this before? No. It's no, in right. it's in season at the moment. I never seen this. Also. How to eat this? Hello. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So the hard part like in the middle, the seed you don't eat. It tastes a little bit like mangosteen. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, let me try as well. today as part of this publication that we run in Singapore. It's a weekly digital magazine. Um, I'm going to just hand out our first ever print issue so you all can pass it around as we talk. Uh, this was just out last December, I think. Can you eat spicy? Yes. Okay, I brought my chili. You like prahog, you will like my chili as well. Sure. <laughs> so I'm going to bring two food, two dish that first of all is called beef soup that um, when I was seven years old, my fathers have cooked me one time. Now I'm 34, only one time. It's amazing, special. And I don't have a chance to eat that anymore because he's gone. I'm still alive. <laughs> so I'm going to bring that food out to remember him. And what, what do you call it in uh, Cambodian? Uh, in Khmer? Ngao Chiru Sakko. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So another dish is dry fish with watermelon. That is the only dish that the young generation they don't eat that because quite poor by a long time ago people we can't really find that food so the only way the only way to make us feel fresh have energy to work hard watermelon with dry fish you want to cut the pumpkin the hardest job in the world <laughs> that's the hardest thing on the table <laughs> So I guess everyone can take turns. So at least uh, everyone gets their hand into the making of the dish. So you cook before? Before, like a food truck. Oh, you had yeah. food truck in uh, Manila? Yeah. Oh, right. Smart, right? You don't cook like this because you can cut your hand very easily. You know what I mean? So that way, you tuck your fingers in.
against the grain. Yeah. Garlic, egg. Bamboo chips here? Yeah. Let's try it. Chef Nuru's broth. This is Prahok, uh, Cambodian cheese. So get one and then cheese. Well, it's, it's, it's fermented uh, it's fermented fish paste. Uh. But they call it yeah, but they call it Cambodian cheese. In a long, long time ago, the Cambodian family is quite poor, right? So we can't afford for any beef or any pork. The only thing that we can afford is dry beef and watermelon. And a lot of people, they love to eat them. Yeah, but together. And that is beef soup that from my dad who's made for me when I was seven years old. And this is my first time I brought them out. And, oh, thank you. Thank my my contribution or collaboration is with her today is just uh, my chili. Right? <laughs> so this chili is uh, the chili that I made on the show. Uh, it's quite hot, and it has fermented fish inside. Wow! All right, so it uh, it'll go well. It, it'll taste or smell a bit like prahok over here yeah. because of the fermented fish. But it's hot, huh? but do try it, and I think it'll go well. Okay, enjoy. Oh, thank you. Run. Hey, fly, fly. <laughs> Hello. Uh, pork, pork blood. Yeah, yeah, it's pork blood. Yeah, yeah. Right. Pork blood, blood. Yeah, same, like, same. Like, like, same, same, same. Like, like, they grew it. No, we don't yeah. have. I think they boil it. Up, I think they. Yeah, they. Oh. Cheers. Mm. Oh, dumb. Not so good. Good. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> that's amazing. Cheese, cheese. Cheese, that's the Cambodian cheese. Asian cheese. Mm -hmm. Do you, you know like what it, it is? And he's a vegan, by the way. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not so vegan. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm not vegan. Not in Cambodia. You wanna try? What's that? Pig blood. Pig blood. <laughs> okay. No, no. Thank you. Uh, the students uh, begin uh, workshop on the 19th of uh, January, uh, an eight day intensive uh, workshop in which they had to conceptualize, photograph, refine, photograph some more, refine some more, edit, sequence, and finally they put together what we're about to see. I haven't seen it myself. So, without much further ado, let's get the lights off and let's just the show on the road. Thank you.
Thank you all very much. These are the six, uh, seven, sorry, seven people who are responsible for uh, listening and watching over all of these trainee uh, students. And I want to say thank you very, very much. This would not have been possible. Thank you very much.